Popcorn Maker is an easy-to-use, open-source tool for creating interactive stories using the web. You simply insert a link to an HTML5 audio or video file into the editor and then synchronize text, images, pop-ups, maps, and Wikipedia articles. It's an amazing way to create interactive audio and video-based stories. And do you know who already creates a lot of online multimedia stories? These guys. That's why at ODDI we decided to fork Popcorn Maker and transform it into Kettlecore, a new tool tailored to the needs of busy journalists working in multiple languages around the world. Journalists are on a deadline, so our first goal was to reduce the time to publish new projects by improving the editor and creating plugins that simplify the most common tasks. Instead of stacking and positioning layers of images and text on the timeline, Journalists can insert a plugin to quickly create lower thirds or create a simple end card with links that promote related stories. We've also updated the Maps plugin so journalists can easily add context to their maps using a marker. Or add a link to a Google Doc spreadsheet and synchronize multiple markers. Just edit our spreadsheet template, publish, and insert the link into the editor. We also added features to the Kettle Corn Editor so journalists can quickly style text, rename layers, undo recent mistakes, and copy and paste elements on the timeline. Our second goal was to restyle Popcorn Maker for journalism. We streamlined the icons and colors to work with everything from breaking news to feature stories. One of the best features of Popcorn Maker is it encourages the audience to become makers by remixing projects. Our final goal was to encourage sharing and remixing of projects in multiple languages. To make this easier, we built translation into Kettlecorn. Here's how it works. A journalist discovers a popcorn story to remix and translate. She can edit her translation preferences by clicking on My Preferences, selecting her language, and then select whether to manually translate or use machine translation. Each pop-up or text event has a Translate button in the plugin editor. If she's selected Machine Translation, Kettlecorn will automatically translate using the Bing Translate API. For many stories, this may be enough, but often the journalist will want to refine the translation, so the original text is copied for future editors to review and refine as needed. At ODDI, we think Kettlecorn has tremendous potential as a tool for journalists to quickly and easily create interactive stories on deadline that offer new opportunities to connect and engage with audiences worldwide.